clown, honey. Hey, what's up, everybody? Steven here, aka Wild Eye Guy 85, here to do another unboxing. Uh, got a little mini haul here from uh, Wild Eye. Um, I knew there was going to be two titles sent to me, but uh, Rob and the folks at Wild Eye um, threw in some extra titles that I had no idea. So thank you very much for being so awesome. And I plan to actually watch uh, some of these right after I uh, do this video. Um, so what I got here, the Gore Face Killer, because I had done a video, I had ordered some from Walmart. And I had gotten Gorgasm by um, mistake. Well, it wasn't a mistake. I just didn't realize it was the sequel. So here's the first one. Wild Eye Raw and Extreme. Sorry for the reflection. Not for the squeamish, the most offensive and provocative flick you can make. Non-stop, over-the-top sleaze and trash featuring splatter killings, trash talk, various severed body parts, carving new orifices into victims and taking a dump in a cat litter box. In the deep south of Louisiana, there exists a world of never-ending sex, drugs, and violence. But in the darkness of the swamp is only equal by the darkness of a killer's mind. Into this world of perpetual intoxication comes a gut-nodding, bloody climax when the gore-faced killer surfaces from his slumber to begin his reign of gorging, throbbing terror. In the first film in the infamous Cockface Killer trilogy, followed by Gorgasm 2007 and Grime Wave 2013, this film was originally titled Attack of the Cockface Killer, but we had to change the name because we were warned no stores or websites would carry that film with that title. Cowards. <laughs> it's got bonus features, behind the scenes featurette, and trailers. Uh, next one, which I already have, but that's okay. I'll either maybe give this as a prize or trade or something, but it'll go to a good home. Uh, Gorgasm, the sequel. Okay, sorry about that. My alarm on my phone went off, so I'm going to edit this together. And uh, here's the back of this again. I'm sorry. The brutal, unstoppable CF. K Killer is back for another knee-deep adventure in death, drugs, and perversion. And the video store clerk, Mark, and his girlfriend, the nightmare has just begun as the notoriously deformed monster begins to kill off their friends. With the police unwilling and unable to help, it's up to the beautiful and deadly all-girl gang, Clam, to end CFK once and for all. It's got commentary, deleted scenes, behind the scenes, outtakes, and trailers. And then the last one in the trilogy, Grime Wave. Grime, yeah, I'm like Grime. Grime doesn't pay. No sex is safe sex. When the legendary unstoppable serial killer, CFK, stumbles upon a drug deal, he accidentally enters the dark and violent world of New Orleans crime. Two rival gangs stop their ongoing war in order to recruit assassins, dirty cops and mystical ninjas in an attempt to destroy CFK before he kills everyone in sight. An insane, nasty, gnarly, and disgusting combination of Friday the 13th and Salo 100 days, 120 Days of Sodom. And this one has Kickstarter videos and trailers. And then the ones that were sent to me, I had no idea. Uh, another Wild Eye Raw and Extreme, like Animator, which is awesome because I've seen this sticker and been wanting to see this movie, so I'm really glad um, this was sent to me. Can't wait to watch this one. Actually, I can't wait to watch all of them. It's awesome. Um, Beware the Big Bad Slimy Wolf. A group of friends break into an abandoned house of weekend of partying only to discover a mad scientist in hiding who just happens to need subjects to try out his new monster-making formula. When some of that serum turns one of the group into a hungry, murderous werebeast, all hell breaks loose and everyone is on the menu. Bonus features, it has behind the scenes, short film, flesh flower, and trailers. A clever mashup that instantly lets you know exactly what the movie is about, a werewolf and a mad scientist. 
And this is number 38 in the Raw and Extreme. Next one. Another Raw, raw and Extreme Bigfoot Blood Trap <laughs> based on real events. <laughs> Bigfoot is hungry and on the hunt for female flesh. A beautiful young woman inherits a large piece of forest land from her strange grandfather. While hunting there with her friends, they discover a Bigfoot creature who lives on the land and has been there for decades. Once the beast is captured, they encountered a strange scientist with a bloody mysterious connection to the monster. And this crazed maniac will pay any price to continue the bizarre breeding experiments he began long ago with Bigfoot in his attempts to create a race of unstoppable killing and love-making machines. And this one is number 14. And the last one, Dark Sister, which I've had on my list, haven't watched yet, and don't own it, so I'm glad to have a physical copy. Art is a nightmare. Troubled artist Cassie suffers with reoccurring visions of murder, which she copes with by committing the violent acts to canvas. But when her visions begin to manifest in real life, her friends and family begin to turn up dead. Realizing her visions actually provide a direct link to the killer, uh, Cassie must now confront her own past in order to stop the murders and save herself. Bonus features include director's commentary, trailers, and closed captions. The visuals are beautiful done, bathed in colors of green and red, and adding a trippy psychedelic feel to the action. All right, so that is my little Wild Eye unboxing. Uh, thanks again, everyone over at Wild Eye. Uh, I'll leave a link down below to Wild Eyes website where you can order these movies and a whole lot more from the website. And as always, uh, Walmart.com, Amazon, you got Amazon Prime, Tubi, multiple ways to watch these. Check them out, su uh, support your independent horror movies. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know which one of these you've seen in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.